Distinguished heads of states and governments, distinguished members of the delegations, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you to the second summit of the heads of states and governments of the Forum of Foreign Exporters of Gas. Almost five years ago, in Moscow, the representatives of 11 countries signed the statute and agreement on functioning of the forum. Afterwards, at the first forum summit, the Doha Declaration was adopted, which elaborated and enshrined basic priorities for the development of international gas markets. I believe that in this manner we have laid the solid foundation for our long-term partnership. And indeed, over the last few years, the forum has quickly grown out of informal discussion platform into a full-fledged international organization, uniting global leaders of natural gas production and experts. At the same time, I'm convinced that today we have to move forward towards closer cooperation. We have to consolidate our efforts in order to efficiently defend the interests of gas exporting countries, in order to improve the competitive positions of this promising and clean fuel. I believe that the forum's priority is to develop a united position on price pricing issues to create conditions to reduce excessive price volatility and increase the industry transparency. Overall, it will contribute to development of gas transmission infrastructure and increase the security of supplies. There is no doubt that we should build cooperation in collecting and analyzing industry data and support scientific research of the global gas market. Today, the growth of global demand for natural gas is outstripping the demand for oil and overall energy consumption. According to the forecast of International Energy Agency, in the period of up to 2018, the annual global demand for natural gas will increase by more than 16 percent and will reach 4 trillion cubic meters. This means large opportunities for gas producers as well as great responsibility for all of us, especially today in the conditions of a very complex economic situation, because it is our countries that have two-thirds or 65 percent of the proven gas reserves globally. We provide almost half of the global gas experts. Therefore, our priority is to ensure the stability of supplies to global market in the long term. Over the last few years, we have been witnessing the quick technological development of the gas industry. The methods of gas production and transmission are improving, thus increasing its accessibility for the consumers. There is an expansion of industrial production of reserves of the so-called unconventional types of gas, I mean shale gas, hard to recover reserves and the gas extracted at the deep water shelf, as well as coal bed gas and gas hydrates. As a result, gas positions at the global market are being strengthened. At the same time, the pressure on exporting countries is increasing. And I can see here a serious challenge to all of us. And first of all, I mean the attempts to dictate the supply terms for the pipeline gas that are economically unacceptable for producers. I mean the desire to change the principles of gas supplies based on long-term contracts and to decouple contract prices from the oil and oil products prices as market price indicator and to decrease the mandatory rates for gas volumes to be withdrawn by customers. Unfortunately, those who pursue such policies seldom understand that giving up basic principles of long-term contracts will not only hit gas producers and bring about serious expenses, but eventually it will undermine the, secu the energy security of those very consuming countries, and we should not forget that gas use is also a response to another global challenge, increasing m gas share in energy mix, 
will enable to significantly reduce the impact on environment and to improve the environmental situation. And energy and environmental security comes at a price, which is fair and totally in line with the spirit of market relations, without any politicization of this issue. There is no doubt that new hydrocarbon production and transmission technologies increase the supply elasticity at gas market. New price references emerge, including spot prices. However, this should not make us to give up on time-tested and effective tools, including long-term contracts and take-or-pay principle. Together, these two components of energy security guarantee returns on investments in capital-intensive gas industries with long investment cycles, which entails sustainable and exponential growth of energy foundation for the global economy in the long term. I am convinced there is a need to preserve fair distribution of risks between exporters and importers. I can't but mention the discriminatory limitations towards natural gas suppliers introduced recently by consuming countries over the last years. I mean, first of all, the changes in regulatory energy legislation in European Union, the so-called third energy package. The introduction of the corresponding gas directive significantly constrains the activities of traditional gas suppliers to the markets of the European Union. Those suppliers who have been investing their money in the development of European gas industry for decades in this environment, the solidarity of gas exporting countries is becoming crucial. It is more efficient to resist the illegal pressure to stand up for the interests of gas producers and suppliers to foreign markets is by acting together. We would like our interests to be taken into fair account. Let me also note that the development of common position of the member states of our forum on the main issues of cooperation with consuming countries also matters in the context of globally growing so-called interfuel competition efficiency, security and the environmental safety of gas is a objective factors. But this doesn't mean that we should rest on laurels, otherwise we can lose out in the competition with other resources. I see another important area of cooperation in developing new applications of natural gas, in supporting scientific research aimed at expanding its application. For example, more active use of gas as motor fuel will enable to reduce manifold the emissions of pollutants into the air. Dear colleagues, despite the complex modern economic conditions, the Gas Exporting Countries Forum has good prospects. I am convinced that we are in a position to build efficient mechanisms to secure legitimate interests of gas producing countries. Russia is ready for such partnership and we hope that we will work together in an efficient and secure manner that we will support together, that we will that we will support each other and global economy in its development. Thank you for your attention and thank you for finding opportunities to come to this forum to the capital of the Russian Federation. I hope that you will not only will have the opportunity to talk to each other regarding bilateral relations, but also to get to know our capital. Thank you for your attention.